today's project on our squeeze there are roller bearings inside here rollers and bearings inside the rollers <clears throat> this bottom one on the left broke off at the stub shaft so what we're gonna do pull these hoses off finish pulling them off we've pulled three off we'll pull these three off and we're gonna disconnect the hydraulic rams at the top so the mast will just We'll just be sitting here and we'll, we're gonna disconnect everything, disconnect these chains, and we will use a forklift and lift the mast up, which will leave the actual clamp sitting on the ground. And we can replace this and also replace all the old roller bearings. So we have a new bearings, less slop, and less play. This one's not terrible. It's got a little play in it, but what I don't like is how much has been worn down. This one's not bad. This one, it's pretty bad the reason is it is very hard to get to that grease point this one you hear that that is not good here's the one that broke off excuse me mr. Viss. he's a gentleman isn't he this is the one that broke off so that's where this all started that one's not bad that one's going bad Another dry one, so yeah, it needed it. It was time. Might even look for some more stuff to take care of while we're at it. Gonna get it really hot, and then he's gonna dump a cup of cold water on it. So when you get it hot, it expands. As soon as you put that cold water on it, it shrinks. And what that does is crack the rust that's built up in there. That's the plan. If it works, I don't know. We've done it before, but if it's gonna work in this scenario situation, we'll see. 